Did you feel like the finish was coming in the fight, like as the fight was progressing? Um, I felt like I was a lot stronger than her and a lot faster than her, so I thought that if I was going to get a finish, it'd probably be in this fight. And you know, you've been labeled as someone who, you know, fights a decision a lot. Did, did that bother you at all? Did you feel like you had to go out there and, 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 you know, get a finish in this one? I didn't feel like I had to, but like I said, I feel like my change of camp, uh, I have a, a little bit of different mindset. I'm more motivated again. I kind of lost track for a little bit. Um, and I'm just excited for the future, and that high elevation definitely helped me out in Colorado. Tisha, can you give us an insight to the motions? You say you're overwhelmed after getting the finish. Yeah, um, you know, it was a tough week for me. It started off really good, and then I got here Monday, Tuesday, found out my friend was murdered. So, uh, like I said, I dedicated the fight to him. He was an amateur fighter and did really well. Um, so, yeah, it's sad. He was only 25 years old when he was saying from us. How does it feel to have your best performance in honor of him on this big stage? Uh, it was awesome. I really pushed forward for him tonight. Uh, the first round wasn't as active as I'd liked it to be, but um, the wrestling, cage work, I felt I was the more dominant fighter, and I just want to progress with every fight, and that's what I did tonight, so I feel good. You called out Michelle Watterson. Any particular reason? Uh, we've been wanting this fight for a while. I was scheduled to fight her before she got injured. Then she was going to fight Ashton Daly. Uh, Ashton Daly got injured. I stepped up to take that fight, and then right after that, she got injured again. So it's just been a little run around me and her, and that's what I was waiting for, the Michelle Watterson fight. He said in August I'd get the fight possibly, but uh, I hadn't heard anything, and it's already almost July, so I was like, man, I just give me the fight, please. I heard that Amanda yeah. got out, so uh, he waited a couple days to tell me, so I was like, come on, please, I need to buy plane tickets, uh, and he gave me the fight, so I was really happy. Have you ever had to go through adversity like this in a fight, you know, something as tragic as this, as your friend passing away? No, this is the first time. Um, it really hit home because, like I said, he was there for me at my end of my amateur career. He actually had his own show, too. He did some local promotions, and I fought my last amateur fight on his show. So he was a good friend. Um, we hadn't talked in a while, but nonetheless, whenever we'd reconnect, we'd be together. And he was a great supporter of me always. Tisha, what was his full name? Aaron Rodman. Yeah, and he was out of America Top Team. Can you take us through the through the submission, the the shoot when she grabbed the single, wasn't tight enough or how do you? Well, uh, in practice, actually, when the girls get my, you know, whether which I, I fight both stands, you know, whatever they get, I tend to really get around, get my hook in. Due to terminology, I'm not the best at, but I just know I'm like a little monkey and I'm tiny and I'm really fast, so I just got my hook in and I got the choke in. I heard my coaches say, "Calm down," because I didn't want to wear out my arms, so I calm down and I just made sure the submission was where it needed to be, and then I tightened. You've got all your nails painted except for the one your ring finger's on has the silver. Any particular meaning? Uh, because I got a blingy ring here from Raquel, so I like it. <laughs> How much has that support meant to you throughout this, uh, all that you've been going through, and especially with what happened with Aaron? Um, it's been awesome training with Raquel. I mean, we have one-on-one -on -one training with our coaches, and uh, it's just basically us two, and then we have another girl, Sharon Jacobson. Um, out of uh, Invicta, and then I actually got to train with JJ Aldridge, who fought Juliana Lima last time. She's from Denver, so all those girls have been a big help. And then I spar my coaches and get to beat up them, especially my coach Juan. He likes to beat up. Having Denver as the new home base, I mean, how much does that transition like at all affect you or help you? Uh, it's helped me a lot. The high altitude training is definitely great. I was at sea level in Florida, so I really like it. I've been there since the beginning of May now, when I graduated, got my master's. That was all, that's what I was waiting for to graduate. School. School, and now I'm here full time, uh, focusing on school, focusing on fighting again full time. So I'm just really excited for the futures to bring, and having Raquel there to train with me by my side, and I'm just excited for her to come back from her injuries and her surgeries. Let's see, you get the Michelle Watterson fight. Uh, when would you like to fight her? Ideally, what would be like perfect timeline for her? Uh, I fight her as early as late August. Um, that'd get me right back into fight camp. I guess maybe six weeks once I get home, and I have some vacations to go on after this uh, and celebrate my anniversary. So. Would, you, would you want to fight in Canada? On that Edmonton card? Uh, where, when that, that's in September. It's like early, early September. Uh, I wouldn't mind Canada. I just don't really like going too far overseas. But Canada is, feels like yes, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, criminology. Um, right now, I hope to uh, gain a title shot soon, or by the end of the year. But eventually, one day, if um, I do go into the field, it'd be in the government field, so FBI, DEA, something like that would be my ultimate dream job. But as of right now, I just want to fight, and Raquel and I are planning on opening a gym um, next year, so. Just from afar, you know, looking at your social media, it seems like a lot of good things are happening as far as your personal life is concerned, with the engagement and the graduation. Do you feel like all those things sort of led to you getting this finish, that it's all kind of coming together between your personal life, which is your professional life? Yeah, I feel like for a long time, 
Um, I had everything going um, for me, the fighting, the school, my love life had always been kind of a... <laughs> now it's on a good track on the way up. So I feel like all around I have good people around me, genuine people, and it's just going to go up from here. And I really want to work on... Like, I'm always aggressive, but I felt like that first round I was just in the moment. I, I really want to be able to be aggressive from start to finish, and I haven't been able to do that yet. But I do feel really happy with my performance tonight. Since you had been sorry, just one more since you had been in ATT for so long, was that difficult to tell them that you were leaving? How did that go? Uh, for sure. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, going to, like, you got in trouble or something, you know, telling them, like, I'm so nice and stuff. I don't want them to feel like I'm leaving them because I don't like them. I'm leaving them because I'm going to know path in my life, new journey, new chapter, and I'm following my heart and where I feel like I need to be, and that was Colorado, and I'm happy with transition. Like I said, I love America's Top Team. I do miss all the girls I get to train with there. They're my really good friends. I'm looking forward to Amanda's fight on Saturday. She's one of my best friends. Um, so, yeah, I'm still, I still feel like I is my family, but I have a new family now with Colorado Team. I was just remembering that on The Ultimate Fighter, you spoke about criminology and following that as a path. And I, I remember if it was some, there was a special connection for that to you. Could you refresh our memory, like what, what that was about exactly? Um, I just had a, a lot of things going on in my life growing up. Uh, there was drugs, alcohol, bad things, and uh, I'm straight edge. That's one thing that I've always uh, kept my word to. When I was 13, I told my mom I'd never drink, never smoke. I still haven't done that to this day. Um, the only one day that I made drink something that is wine on my wedding night, and I told Raquel that, but I even I doubt that I'll even let her do that. So if you guys do see some pictures, it's probably going to be like apple cider or something like that, because I don't think I can give in. But uh, who knows? Uh, we don't have a date yet. Raquel Pennington, if you're around, when is my wedding date? Please tell me. Everybody's asking <laughs> my wedding date. I don't know. What's happening? Oh, you guys brought it up. Um, uh, no. Everybody's invited. Yeah. Tisha, what number is this? Yeah. Yeah. Number yeah. Number yeah. Yeah. This is your first anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, it's conceivable that you could be the next strawweight champion and Raquel could be the next bantamweight champion. What would, is there any comment you'd like to make on that? What would that do for the dynamic of your relationship? Uh, I think just make us even more uh, competitive together, you know, in the gym. Uh, she's like, she's getting, I'm getting ready for this fight. She goes in front of me, she's like, I'm going to F you up. And I just start smiling because it's fun, you know. We go in there and uh, kind of beat each other up. But at the end of the day, we love each other, we push each other, and we support each other. So the idea of both of us possibly being the champion one day is amazing. I mean, I believe we're both in the five world right now. I see a title shot for both of us very soon. It's exciting. And what's your prediction for Amanda versus Valentina? Oh, I think Amanda's going to win. I, I feel soft just coming. Amanda's training hard, and uh, she's looking better and better with every fight. Right. Thank you. Good? Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. God bless.